It is a picture-perfect day, one man will never forget, the last he will ever see. A helpless old blind man, a careening truck, a decision made faster than thought, gallons of spewing muck, pain, and darkness. Bravest thing I ever saw, but his face, his eyes, my god. That stuff in his eyes. Is it real? And then there's the matter of your bill. Before I get into the actual essay portion of this video essay, I am going to assume that if you are watching this, you have seen both Netflix's Daredevil and Netflix's Jessica Jones. And thus, I will do away with recapping the shows or explaining what they are. Also, spoilers. So, now that we have gotten the disclaimer and the eye-catching intro out of the way, why are we here? Both shows are loved and praised by several different audiences, but Daredevil and Jessica Jones both successfully adapt the comic book characters and storylines from its source material, giving it a definite appeal to any fan of the original comics. However, one show clearly stuck with their respective source material more than the other, and thus benefited from that commitment. No season of Daredevil is a one-to-one -one adaptation, but it does take stories from the comics and gives them new life. A great example is Matt Murdock's origin. In the series, the show borrows from both of Matt's more famous origin stories, the one written by Stan Lee and the one by Frank Miller. The basic plot of a boxer's son being blinded by radioactive material after saving someone from being hit by a truck is a commonality between both that the show adapts, but it also takes elements from both to make a new one. In the series, Matt's father was a good man who valued Matt's education, like in Stan Lee's, while also taking Matt's training under the martial arts master stick from Frank Miller's origin. This is a change to Matt's backstory that streamlines it and gives it as much realism as a superhero origin like Matt's could have. But 
also adds a narrative through line of Matt's struggle with his parental figures, a recurring plot point and narrative thread that is picked up throughout the series. Jessica Jones does adapt Jessica's origins from the Alias comic, but it is not a focal point in its first season. Instead, it adapts the through line of the Alias series and focuses on how Jessica deals with her trauma, and eventually her confronting her abuser. As such, its first season is an amazing season that lives up to the quality of the source material it is adapting. But the showrunners moved past most of the Alias storylines, including the main one following Jessica's most compelling villain, Zebediah Kilgrave. This left the showrunners with little source material to make a full and compelling season with that was viable. So instead, they went back to Jessica's origin and used it to develop a new mystery. Now, this is entirely my opinion, but I have to say that the origin of a superhero is by far the most boring part of their stories. Daredevil's origin story was streamlined to benefit the show's larger narrative, but focusing so much on Jessica's was a detriment to the show's second season. While the series never dipped down to <sighs> Iron Fist levels of messy adaptation, it did suffer from moving away from the source material. Daredevil, meanwhile, went on to eventually adapt the acclaimed Born Again storyline in its third and, as of the making of this video essay, final season. Meanwhile, Jessica Jones always struggled to live up to both its amazing first season and its source material that it quit adapting after season one.